What's going on guys? It's your boy Ty and today in this video I want to talk about Deadpool 3 and some of the antics that have been going on with this movie I know you might be like what are you talking about? We're gonna dive into it in a second But I hope you all are having a great day for those of you that are watching this and also let me know down in the comments Are you excited for Deadpool 3? Are you not? I just want to hear your opinion about this movie because I feel like there's a lot going on with it And that's what I'm here to dive into today. So let me explain what I'm talking about I feel like just to give you a broad sense of what I mean I have never seen so much stuff leaked so early from an MCU movie ever. It's crazy how much information we actually have about this movie, whether it's intentional or leaked this early out. This movie comes out in eight months from when this video is dropping. And I feel like we know so much already, but let me just, you know, slow down here and just start from the beginning. So. Of course, Kevin Feige announces, we're getting Deadpool 3 and it's going to be in the MCU. Obviously, the first two Deadpool movies aren't. So everyone's suspecting, oh, we're going to have some multiverse stuff, whatever. That sounds cool. I was down for it too. And just keep in mind throughout this whole video, I am very excited for Deadpool 3. I'm not acting like I'm not excited. I'm just a little bit hesitant because of what I'm about to say. A couple months ago, maybe July, we got that first image of Deadpool and Wolverine side by side. They're both standing there in their costumes it's our first look at wolverine's costume also you know we're kind of just getting confirmation that deadpool kind of has that same suit that he's always had it looks awesome great it's clearly an official image i'm pretty sure that ryan reynolds himself even posted the picture he's like we're ready to go that was a nice little tease it wasn't a leak it wasn't this or that it was officially announced it was officially posted i should say for everyone to see and get excited that's perfectly fine as time went on we started to get a little bit more and more information which again is still okay. I feel like when there's cameo leaks, you know, that stuff happens. But we started to get some plot stuff and that's where I was kind of scratching my head a little bit and I was like, hmm, this is kind of weird. We started to get some information that apparently the TVA is gonna be in this movie. And I was like, okay, that's fine, that makes sense. We're dealing with all this multiverse stuff. Let me just make sure my mic's still recording. Okay, it is. We're, again, we're dealing with all this multiverse stuff. That makes sense. The TVA deals with the multiverse. They're keeping it in check. And this was before Loki season two was out, so we weren't sure what was going on. But of course, now that we have hindsight, we know what's going on with the TVA now. But then again, from there, we're getting more and more information. Apparently, Taylor Swift is going to be a cameo as Dazzler. OK, fine. Just one cameo, whatever. Then we get more information leaked. And I know this timeline's kind of rough, but I'm just kind of going over the stuff that I'm talking about. So hopefully you guys can follow here. Apparently, Jennifer Gardner is going to be returning as what's her name what's her name electra is it electra am i being stupid i don't know if i'm missing that up that's my fault i've never seen her movie she's gonna be returning okay that's also cool then and again i don't know if this is in order we get set photos that look like they're from a sniper literally from a sniper of deadpool and wolverine fighting each other kind of on like this white sand everything every single picture that and the leak that we've gotten is from this like same setting like this little white sand slash snow i don't know what it is area in this big open field thing you guys know what i'm saying because i'll have the pictures up here on screen and that was okay because it's like oh yeah a little behind the scenes a little leak that happens that happened with brave new world the captain america uh, movie we got a couple behind the scenes photos but then we get a picture showing the 20th century fox logo in the distance suggesting that we're being super like fourth wall breaking and also opening up the possibility that we're doing the whole killing the Fox X-Men universe. That sounds kind of cool. But again, this is being leaked. Okay, fine. We have maybe one plot leak. Deadpool and Wolverine are fighting. That makes sense because, you know, maybe they just met each other and they don't know if they're dangerous. They don't know who they are, whatever. And of course, it's supposed to be super meta. You know, that's how Deadpool is. But then... As we go on and on, we're getting more and more little information. Sean Levy or Levi, honestly, I'm sorry. I know that might sound stupid. I don't know his name. The producer of Stranger Things and also, you know, he works with Deadpool. Whenever he's getting asked questions about like, oh, is Taylor Swift going to be Dazzler? He's like, oh, you know, that would be a fun idea. Dude, come on. Like, we're not stupid at this point. That in a way is you just confirming that you're in it. Jennifer Gardner was asked if she's returning as Electra, and apparently she was like, oh, you know, the same thing. She's giving like that fake response, almost like Andrew Garfield before No Way Home, where he's like, oh, you know, I don't know. Am I going to be in it? Am I not? That sounds fun, but I haven't gotten the call yet. 
bro, we know you're going to be in it. Also, then another article came out, apparently, obviously, maybe not super officially, confirming that she's going to be in it. Whatever. And now we move on to something that just came out like two days ago. And also, ironically, something that just came out five minutes before I started recording this. Thank God I checked Twitter. We got photos again on this white sand. And I guess I could say spoilers if you don't want to be spoiled. But this, these pictures are literally everywhere. It's not like you're not going to you know, see them. We got pictures of Deadpool and Wolverine fighting Sabretooth and Toad from the original X-Men movies. And that just had me thinking, what are we, what? We are eight months out from this movie and we are getting serious plot leaks. We are getting serious behind the scene photos. And it's from the same like sniper basically that looks like these photos are super zoomed in like the original ones. And I'm just confused as to what's going on here. I've never seen so many leaks so early on from an MCU movie. Before I get into other MCU movies and their leaks, because I want to talk about that too. We also got a picture, to make things even worse, of Deadpool holding Sabretooth's head like he decapitated him. See, honestly, a cameo leak I'm okay with. But a plot leak, that hurts me. I'm going to be honest, that almost makes me a little bit less disappointed. And I know that you could say, oh, but it's just a small part. You don't know anything about the whole movie yet. I, I could agree with you there. Fine. We'll meet in the middle. But I'm just saying, just going in there expecting, oh, yeah, there's going to be a scene where Deadpool fights Sabretooth and he kills him. Going in there expecting that, that just sucks. It's just like you're kind of just thinking about it in the back of your head. I want to be going into a movie having no idea what's going to be going on. And again, I know the cameos and you could say, oh, that's kind of hypocritical, though, because what about No Way Home? We didn't get any official, official, official leaks from that. And again, apparently Toad was like laying there on the floor or something from these photos. So he probably also got killed. I just have never seen leaks this early on. And I know they're like filming right now, but usually stuff comes out after. Just to give some reference here, okay? The title, literally just the title before we got any Andrew, Toby stuff for No Way Home was released like maybe nine or ten months before the movie came out. I believe it was like February and the movie came out in December. Literally the title of the movie, No Way Home. Then a couple months after that, maybe even just like a month or two, we got like the first whisper, and I mean like bare minimum whisper, that Toby and Andrew would be in it. Then obviously hype started to get up, whatever, the villains, the first trailer drops like three or four months. I want to say four months in August before the movie comes out. But then, like maybe three, two or three months before the movie comes out, we get that picture of Andrew Garfield with the blue background with his arm behind him. And people were saying, no, this is fake. They're like editing it and it's, you know, made up. Someone made it on Reddit, whatever. It actually ended up being a real leak. But everyone was so convinced that it was fake, whatever. Andrew, Wa Andrew Garfield, there's all the memes about him like crying werewolf or whatever the phrase is. He was lying to everybody. But guys, the whole point, is that this was like two months or a month before the movie came out. This wasn't eight months before. And remember what I said before about how, oh, just five minutes before this, we're seeing more stuff. Ryan Reynolds just posted a photo, and maybe this is just me being petty, of him with dog pool. And like, okay, it's not really showing much, but can we have like one surprise for this movie? Like, can I just go in not knowing stuff? And I know, again, people might say, dude, you're just complaining. We've barely gotten any information. All right, they, they, you know, a few cameos, they spoiled, whatever. But we still have eight more months of this. There, we are guaranteed, guaranteed to be getting more information about this movie. At this point, I feel like, like what happened at Endgame, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the, the plot of Endgame leaked like four months before the movie came out. I feel like we are guaranteed to have this movie's plot leak. It feels like Marvel security in this movie is just non-existent. And who is this sniper photographer up in the mountains taking pictures of this stuff? Do they not have security on the set? Are they leaking this stuff on purpose to get people excited? I promise, Marvel, people are excited for this movie. So what are you doing? I tweeted this literally the other day. Guys, I just made a Twitter. If you could go in the description and drop a follow, that would mean the world to me. But, you know, shameless plug. I tweeted, by the time this movie comes out, the entire film is going to already be on Twitter, basically, through tweets. Through leaks, this, 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 this cameo, this plot rumor, this, that. I'm telling you we're going to be getting more leaks. We are still eight months away. 
I, I feel like this is a desperate move by Marvel, potentially, to like be leaking their own stuff to try to be getting that No Way Home type of hype. But I just don't really want that. I don't know. Am I being too picky here? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? We're getting even more leaks too. Some stuff I didn't even mention. Apparently, I believe her name is Daphne Keen. She is going to be returning from Logan, like the girl in Logan, to be in this movie as X-23. Another leak. And I mean, I've been seeing it everywhere too, so I'm pretty sure it's like nearly confirmed because apparently there were rumors that they were actually in serious talks for her to return. Another leak. Like what? And I'm guaranteeing you that I'm probably forgetting to talk about like one or two things that have leaked in this just because I've been talking so long. But guys, like, do you understand what I'm saying? And I'm not hating on this movie by any means. Again, I am very excited for this movie. I cannot wait to see what they're going to do with it. But I'm just saying I am nervous because I feel like we're just going to end up seeing this whole movie before it comes out. And that sucks. Again, cameos being leaked, fine. The Marvel's Beast cameo leaked like three months before the movie came out. But the plot of a movie, actual events happening in the film, that honestly hurts. That hurts the movie. I hate to say it, but I feel like that's reality. But yeah, guys, I don't know. That's going to just about do it for today. Let me know your thoughts. Am I just complaining for no reason? I don't even really mean to be complaining. I'm just kind of having a conversation here just about these leaks and how they're honestly kind of damaging in a way. And people are just getting really excited about them, but I haven't seen anyone criticizing like, whoa, we need to slow our roll here. This could actually like make people less excited for the movie because it feels like we're going to end up seeing everything in it. But yeah, guys, if you guys like this video, please consider dropping a like. And if you want to stick around, hit that subscribe button. That would mean the world to me. Thank you guys for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video.